The microphone is a unique sensor. It is made in thousands at a time by clean room technology. The sensor is silicon and platinum based. The microphone is sensitive for particle velocity that is the kinetic energy of a sound wave where normal microphones are pressure sensitive measuring the potential energy of the sound wave. The microphone is directional so it has a figure of 8 response. It is very small, it has a low temperature and humidity sensitivity it has no moving parts and because of that, no ripples in the frequency and phase response are present. It has a high bandwidth and low self noise. What you can hear, you can easily measure. Calibration techniques are well developed. Based upon its patented and truly unique dedicated acoustic particle velocity sensor, Microflown Technologies offers a rapidly growing range of truly innovative applications for NVH testing engineers, especially in the field of vehicle acoustics. Combining direct measurement of both acoustic particle velocity and pressure, the PU probe allows truly new approaches for testing under circumstances that were not possible until now, reduces the overall effective measurement time, reduces overall measurement costs by eliminating the need for brick infrastructure and complicated software requiring other type of skills or staffing. Sound field measurements will revive because of the PU probe that can be used in an environment with a high pressure intensity index, for example interior of a car, extends the bandwidth of traditional sound intensity down to 5 Hz and up to 10 kHz, measures in one single sweep without the need to use spacers, is so small it can measure in keyhole cavities is so small it can measure on small objects that could not be analyzed previously background noise reflections or other acoustic difficulties do not influence the measurement A growing range of applications can be developed around a single transducer type, allowing all the benefits of multipurpose use such as standardization and measurement costs. The microphone sensor consists of two heated wires. If you visualize the sensor wires like this, the temperature of the first wire and the temperature of the second wire will be the same. If I now blow in this direction, this wire will be cooled down by the air velocity 
and the air will heat due to the cooling down of the first wire. Due to that, the second wire will, co will be cooled down less. So, temperature 1 is lower than temperature 2. If I now blow in the other direction, this wire will be cooled down more than that wire. So, temperature 2 is now lower than temperature 1. By variating the velocity, we get particle velocity and the temperature difference will be changed accordingly.